The course menu is one of the most important features that you can customize in your course. Your customized menu should help your students navigate your course materials easily, as well as find activities, dialogue, group work, and grades. The course menu comes with the following default items. You have a home page. You have one content area that's empty. You have a discussion area that links to the discussion forum portion of the tools. You have a groups area that links to the group tool. You have a tool link, which links to the student tools that have been made available. And finally, you have a help link that will link to uh, <clears throat> Blackboard help. It is important that the course menu be organized. It needs to be pared down only to the items that students need to access, and it needs to be put in an order that makes sense for your course materials. In order to customize the menu for your course, you can add items, rename items that are already there, and reorganize the items that exist in your course menu. To add items, you will find a plus sign located at the top left of the course menu. When you hover over the plus sign, you will see several types of items that you can add. When you select an item, you will either have to rename it and be sure that it is available to users. You may have to associate the item with an area in Blackboard, as in adding a tool link. For example, if you were to associate a menu item with your course blogs, you'll need to name them. You'll need to select the right tool and you'll need to make it available to users. Again, to add items to your course menu, you hover over the plus sign and select the type of item you'd like to be added. As the instructor, you can add as many content areas as you need to organize multiple types of content. And again, renaming each content area, you can make it clear what type of content can be found in all of the content areas you choose to add. Adding blank pages to the course menu allows you to format a single page of text and images rather than requiring printing attachments or files for students. The blank page is a way of creating a web-based and clearly viewable single page of text and images. You can use media too. It is possible to have different kinds of Blackboard tools available from the course menu. A course tool link will link to an available tool in Blackboard like a blog page or the calendar. A course link can link directly to content or other items you have uploaded into your course. A later section on course files will show how a link can be used rather than to individually upload different pieces of content to your course files. External links can be added to customize your course menu. You can add an external link to your course menu and link students to frequently visited websites like their Gmail accounts. A module page can be added to the course menu, and an example of the mo a module page is much like the home page. The home page is the default landing page for all courses in our Blackboard. Finally, subheaders and dividers are options to help offset specific sections of your course menu, again for ease of navigation for your students. A subheader creates a divider with text, whereas a divider is simply a line that can be moved around the course menu. There are many ways to customize your course beyond the initial default menu items. We've already gone over how to add menu items to the course menu 
as well as some of the options for those items that you can add. Now let's go through how to rename items, how to reorganize items, and how to delete items. Let's start by renaming. On the right side of every menu item, you'll see a set of chevrons. So the first thing that you do to rename an item is to select the chevrons and then choose Rename from the menu. Then you can change the menu item by selecting the green checkbox you are accepting the new title. Similarly a menu item can be hidden from student viewing using the same submenu. If an item is hidden it will have a small square icon that is crossed out. You can see this small square icon next to course materials. The only other time you see an icon on a menu item is when a menu item is created but is empty. When you see this square icon, the students do not see the empty menu item. Once you have added content to this menu item, the item will show up to the students and the square icon will no longer display. The course materials now has one item inside, but is still hidden to the students. In order to unhide, you can select to show the link. Now the menu item is available to students and has items inside. Reorganizing menu items can be done in two ways. You can select a menu item and drag. This is done by selecting the handles on the left side of the menu item. You can drag it to the location where you'd like it. You can also select the reorder feature on the top right of the menu. A submenu of all items will appear and you can select items to move up or down using the arrow key. Additional visual features for creating an easy to navigate course menu are either subheaders or dividers. By naming a divider and dragging it to a location on the menu, you will create a section that is visually set apart from the rest of the course menu. When you select a divider, a white line is created and be, can be used to offset materials. I know the colors for the text and the background of the course menu may be different than what you can see. When we get to the section on customization, you'll learn how to reorganize that. Finally, to see what students see, on the far right of your screen is an Edit Mode button. I'm going to slide that to the off position. Now my course menu appears the way it will look for students. I have lost the functionality of adding, reorganizing, deleting, or any of the features we've discussed, but this is a way to preview what your course menu will look like for your students. Customizing your course menu is an important feature of every course you teach in a learning management system. Your course menu can organize content into sections like frequently used course information including the syllabus and the calendar of due dates and some assessment rubrics. You can set these materials apart from the course materials and interactive features like blogs and group areas. You could list all the content modules in your menu 
although we don't visually recommend this if you have more than six items, as it may limit other important features in the course menu. Most importantly, remove any items from the menu that will not be needed during your course.